American Airlines this morning is investigating a mystery illness on a transatlantic airliner. At least six people became sick, when, sick Wednesday on flight 109 from London to Los Angeles. Witnesses say the jet turned around after a passenger and flight attendant fainted. Chris Van Cleve in Washington shows us why one passenger called, called the flight surreal. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Passengers say it began as a routine 10 hour flight. Then about two and a half hours after the plane took off, the crew turned on the cabin lights and asked if there was a doctor on board. It was probably as tense as anyone ever wants to be 30,000 feet in the air. Eric Winter was one of 172 passengers on American Flight 109. I saw an older gentleman. You know, unfortunately, he had he had thrown up all over himself. British boy band Race the Horizon was also on board and says a flight attendant collapsed in the aisle. It was just a shock, really. Like she was walking down the, the aisle and I don't know, she just like sort of just literally fainted in front of me. The four year old Boeing 777 departed London's Heathrow Airport around noon Wednesday for Los Angeles. Once in the air, the airline says two passengers and several flight attendants complained of lightheadedness. According to witnesses, two people appeared to faint. Winter says a doctor and a medical student volunteered to help. They owned that cabin and made sure everyone was as safe or, or as comfortable or as they needed to be. According to maps tracking the plane's flight path, the captain decided to turn around just miles from Iceland's largest international airport. The pilot came on and, and spoke to everyone and said, listen, the three of us are safe up front. We have zero problems. We're taking us back to London. Teams of first responders, including a hazmat unit, met the aircraft at the gate. London's ambulance service says it treated and released six patients at the scene who were not feeling well. Winter commended the pilots and crew for their professionalism. In the absence of information, your mind can go crazy. But I think they did a tremendous job. They communicated to us every step of the way. And here we are. We're sitting on the ground and we're fine. American says the hazmat team did check the entire plane and all of the luggage. Maintenance crews also inspected the entire aircraft. So far, there's no sign anything was wrong, but the plane is being thoroughly cleaned. The decision to return to London instead of diverting to Iceland would be up to the captain. Returning to London would make it easier to reaccommodate passengers. Gail? Yeah, that was a very scary scene up in the air. Thank you very much, Chris.